Good evening, everyone. Nice to see all of you here. My name is Philip Fabian, and I work with Dallas County Promise. So if you have one of those little push cards that's green and, or sorry, green, thinking Dubisky colors. Uh, if it's orange and blue that says Dallas County Promise on it, that's from us. Uh, so I do have just a little bit of information for you guys today about that, and then you are welcome to send me emails. Uh, there's also an email address on that card that you can send emails to if you have questions, uh, and I'm actually the one who manages that box, so I'll respond to you either way. Uh, but I did want to just share a little bit about Dallas County Promise this year. Basically, Dallas County Promise is a chance for any graduating senior from Dubisky High School to attend any of the seven Dallas County Community Colleges for up to three years or until they complete an associate degree with the tuition covered. Okay? They will also get a success coach, which is a a community college employee who is someone that will start reaching out at the end of your senior year, so in April and May, and will stay with you until you either transfer or complete at the community college. Okay. You don't have to do an associate degree if you just want to go to the community college and you're just interested in a certificate program, uh, something like welding or in construction. Right? You can do that and also have your tuition covered. However, you don't get the extra benefits if you complete an associate degree, which I'll go into in just a second. So real quick, uh, just the three main things about Dallas County Promise that we built this on is that one is the financial barriers. So trying to reduce those financial barriers that stop students from going to and being successful in college. So that's the scholarship piece. The second part is the success coach. So we really want to focus on completion. We want to make sure that you're not just getting into college, but you're actually completing something, a certificate, a degree. And so that's where the success coach comes in, that person that will stay with you while you're at the community college and make sure that you're being successful. And then the final piece is kind of why I will come out to Dubisky once a month throughout this year, is to meet with the college access staff here and find out what are the things that are not working well for students and how can we push for those things to change so that the community college and your school districts can serve your students better. You may be asking, well, how do I, how do I qualify? What do I have to do? So in order to get that scholarship, you, there are no income, GPA, or essay requirements. All you have to do is meet the deadlines that are on the screen and on that card that you should have gotten today. And as long as you meet those deadlines, you know that you have guaranteed tuition covered at any of the Dallas County Community Colleges. Okay. So I'll go through those deadlines real quick. But the first one is February 8th. So you've got a long time for that, and it's actually not open yet. It'll open on October 1st. So October 1st is gonna be a really big day for you, because that's also when your financial aid applications open, which Ms. Hendricks will be helping you with and which she mentioned earlier. So that first step, there's two parts in that first step by February 8th. You have to complete a Promise Pledge, which is on our website at dallascountypromise.org, and it's basically your contact information, your parents' contact information, and then a waiver so that we can actually contact you. Okay. The second piece of that is that you do have to do an admissions application to one of the seven Dallas County Community Colleges. Okay. No matter where you're thinking about going, you only need to apply to one. Even if you change your mind later, you can switch campuses. So you don't have to apply to Mountain View and El Centro and Eastville. You only have to apply to one, and then you can change it later if you need to. You can do that admissions application either through Apply Texas or on the community college's internal website, which is at dccd.edu forward slash apply. And that's also on those cards that you have today. Okay. So that's the first step, just that pledge, which is just contact information and the waiver so we can contact you, and then the admissions application. Both of those do have to be complete by February 8th. The pledge also includes a parent's signature if you are under 17. Okay. Even if you do the pledge when you are 17 and then you turn 18, you still have to get the parent's signature because you were 17 when you did your pledge. Right? So if you're going to turn 18, like October 5th or October 10th, you may just want to wait until that day to do your pledge because it's a lot quicker so you don't have to get the parent's signature. The second step that you do have to complete is by March 8th. So you got a big window there, and this one also opens October 1st, is your financial aid application. So either FAFSA or TASFA, either one. So even if you do not have a social security number, you can still take advantage of this scholarship. 
The last step that you would have to complete is by July 31st, after you graduate, you have to register for fall classes. Okay? As long as you meet those three deadlines, February 8th, March 8th, and July 31st, you have your tuition covered, guaranteed, at the community colleges for up to three years or until you complete that associate degree. But that's not all. I mentioned that if you complete an associate degree at the community college, you have transfer options. So we have two big transfer options right now, and we're working on getting more, and we will share those two once those agreements are signed. But the first one is UNT Dallas. So UNT Dallas is that anyone that completes an associate degree at the community college that completes an associate of arts or an associate of science is guaranteed transfer admission to UNT Dallas to have tuition covered for two more years to complete a bachelor's degree at UNT Dallas. All you have to do to be able to get that is to maintain, one, you have to maintain a 2.0 at the community college, which is basically a C average. Two, you have to take at least 18 credit hours a year, which is not even a full-time student. And then three, you have to refile your FAFSA or TASPA every single year. As long as you do those three things, you will get the uh, promised scholarship every year after that, and you will have that UNT Dallas admission waiting for you when you complete that associate degree. The other one that you see up there is SMU. That one is a little more limited, and it is a competitive scholarship, so it's not like the UNT Dallas one. For SMU, you have to apply during your senior year. Right? Even though you would go to the community college first, you still have to apply to SMU during your senior year, and you can see up there that their deadline, oh, it's real tiny, I'm sorry, but right up here, their deadline is January 15th. So by January 15th, that's earlier than the regular promise deadlines, you have to complete all of the admission steps for SMU. Okay? If that's something that you are interested in, please go talk to your college advisor, Ms. Hendricks, and please reach out to us so we can help make sure that you're getting that done on time because that one is a much earlier deadline. And they go through an interview process and then they will notify you before you graduate that you have your SMU admission waiting for when you complete at the community college. So we're working on more university partners and we'll be announcing those throughout the year for transfer possibilities after completing at the community college. And as we get those, we'll share those with your campus and with your college advisor, and they will also share that information with you. So the last thing I'd like to go over real quick is just the benefits to you as a student. The first benefit is that you have that tuition covered no matter what FAFSA says. So the way that it'll work is that your grants that you get from the federal or state government would be applied first and then Promise would cover any gap that you have in that tuition cost. Okay. So if, you're, if you get a full Pell Grant, right, that's actually going to cover your tuition, your books, and a little extra. So in that case, you wouldn't get any Promise dollars, but you get the success coach and you get the transfer opportunities waiting for you at the end. However, if you don't qualify for a Pell Grant, as some families don't, maybe you only qualify for loans, well then Promise will cover your full tuition. So no matter what FAFSA comes back with, you know that tuition is covered at any of those community colleges. Second thing is that this is for all students at any of the 43 participating high schools this year. And there's a list that I'll show in just a second, but basically the three in Grand Prairie ISD are Dubisky, South Grand Prairie, and Grand Prairie. So any senior graduating from any of those high schools has this scholarship opportunity for them. Right? No GPA, no income, no essays required. And then the last thing on this slide is that also the community college has a separate scholarship called Rising Star. That's something that they've already had for a number of years. By doing your promised pledge, that counts as your Rising Star application. So you don't have to do another application for that. And if you meet the Rising Star GPA and the income, you will automatically get books covered as well. So the last thing that I do want to leave you guys with is that you do have to complete that pledge by February 8th. If you miss out on that pledge, you miss out on the Promise Scholarship and you miss out on Rising Star. 
The other things that we'll be supporting you with is the Promise staff will be supporting you. Once you complete that pledge, we'll start sending you text messages and email reminders so you can make sure you're getting those other steps on time. When you start getting those texts and emails, please reply back to us if you have questions. Even if it looks like it's coming from a machine, when you reply back to those texts and those emails, we are responding to all of those texts and emails that you send us. And I will be the main one responding to Divisive High School. So most of those responses will come from me directly. And then the last thing is that the, you have those transfer scholarships, which I talked about with UNT Dallas and SMU. So here's a full list of all 43 participating high schools. You can see up in Grand Prairie over on the right that we've got Dubisky, Grand Prairie, and South Grand Prairie. So even if you, for whatever reason, if you have to leave Dubisky, if you go to one of those other two schools, you can still take advantage of Promise. If you have any friends that are at one of those two schools and they transfer into Dubisky, they can also still have Promise as well because they came from a Promise High School. I just wanted to let you know everything that is on those deadlines will open October 1st. So the pledge, the admissions application for the community college, and the FAFSA or TASCA, all three will open on October 1st. So that's a really big day and a really good day that you can get a lot of those things done. I would get them done as soon as you can. Okay. The last thing that I do want to say is that at no point in this scholarship process are you committed to go. You can do all of these steps if this is your first choice to go to the community college, or you can do all of these steps even if it's not your first choice. If you want to go to UT Austin, a and you want to go out of state, that's great. Keep this as a backup plan. You never know what's going to happen. You never know if you're going to get hurt or if something financial is going to come up. Keep it as a backup plan. And if you decide, nope, I'm going to UT Austin, I don't want to use Promise, that's okay. We want you to go wherever you're going to be the best fit. Let's go ahead and give him a round of applause. Oh my goodness, what an amazing opportunity for your children to get college degrees and be able to graduate debt free. Amazing, right? Yay! seven years when my oldest graduates because I was like, yes, setting it on my calendar. All right, again, um, I do have more copies of the senior calendar up here. If you weren't able to get one, um, please come up and get one. If you have any questions, my email is um, somewhere, um, sarah.tugner at gpisd.org. Um, don't forget about our senior remind, and if you have any questions, I'm right up here. Thank you all so very much. We are going to have a dual credit and on-ramps meeting that's going to start NAP? And ha what, how, long, how long they got? Now. It's starting now. Dun dun dun. Alright, thank you. Go for it.